That's what is going on, people. It is another episode of Signature Dish, and this time we are in Oystins Barbados. This is where everyone on the island comes and gets their local food from. Now, on Friday, this place is absolutely popping, but out of all the vendors along this strip, you want to be at Pat's. Pat's is the place to be. Now, we want to be as local as possible, try it traditionally. So we got the dolphin, and I don't mean as in like flipper dolphin. They call mahi-mahi dolphin here. No idea why, but they do. And we also got the national dish, which is the flying fish. It is succulent and battered. It's amazing. It's not like anything that you have back home. It's truly unique to Barbados. I'm so excited to try it. Let's enjoy it. I've got all this food in front of me. It is absolutely crazy. Look at the setting I have. That is a real fishing boat behind me. This is the thing about Barbados. You can come to the beach, eat your food. It is a magical experience. Now, I have no idea where to start. These are two containers absolutely full of food. They couldn't get any more full if you tried, but if I'm gonna start somewhere, it has to be with Barbados' national dish. It has to be with the flying fish. Now. I have no idea how they've seasoned it, but by the smell that they've jerked it and then they've battered it over. This isn't like any other fish that you'd find in the UK. This is very, very Bayesian. This is a very Bayesian way of cooking. Now, I can't wait any longer. I have to eat this. Mm. Wow. <laughs> That is exactly how my grandma used to cook it. That could not be any more authentic. Mm. There's this explosion of flavor. It's not like your British fish and chips. It's just so seasoned. There's so much more to it than just a batter. You really get the fish flaking when you bite down into it. Okay, next dish the macaroni and cheese. Now, macaroni and cheese in the Caribbean is a lot different than what we get it like in the US and the UK. Right here, they season it to high hell. There's ketchup in it, there's onions in it. They use long macaroni. That's not something you traditionally find, but it makes every bite so much more filling. Get a huge, huge section of that now. Coming home, I'm coming home. Mm. Mm. I told you, I was not lying when you said you get a bigger bite. The fact that the macaroni is longer, it's amazing. And as soon as I bit into that, I tasted that ketchup. I tasted the cheese. And I'm going to tell you a little secret, especially when you are here. What we're fighting for is this. It's the top bit, it's the crust. This is what me and my sister would used to argue over when my dad used to make macaroni. So greasy, but it's what everyone wants. Oh my God. That is out of this wall. Mm. There's still so much food left on my plate, but my next dish is gonna be a local favorite, it's a dolphin. Please do not get confused when I say dolphin because this is mahi mahi. I have no idea how they seasoned it, but to me, it looks like they've even blackened it or they've jerked it. Oh, look how flaky that is. Do you see this? It's just breaking apart every time. Oh, it smells wonderful. You can smell the barbecue. You saw it again being barbecued. There's a real, real smoky flavor to it, but it's so soft. Wow. I think that is definitely, definitely blackened. It is incredible. It's so soft when you bite down into it. 
Honestly, when it's on my tongue, it just melts. You don't have to even have a fork or knife to use this. I can use my hands and just break it up. Where else can we go now? There's so much food. All right, a Bayesian coleslaw. Definitely overly heavy with the cabbage instead of a bit more carrot, but I still like it, a ton of mayonnaise. Mm. Surprisingly, it's not as flavored as I would have liked it to be, but there's a lot coming out of it. Just not as much as I'd like it. And finally, the plantain, the Bayesian plantain. Comment right now. I don't care if you're Nigerian, Bayesian, English. Is it plantain or plantain? Because personally for me, I'm a plantain man. Brought up using the word plantain, I'll be a plantain man until the day I die. Super oily. You can tell this plantain is really, really ripe. They've waited the right amount of time to make that. Just comes off. Mmm. Mmm. It's so sweet. That is sweet, sweet, sweet <laughs> plantain. Really starchy though at the same time. It's quite surprising. Mmm. This is amazing. This is amazing. I got the itis, man. I, if, if you don't know what the itis is, just go on Google right now, type in the itis and put Barbados after it and it will come up. I am full. You know that sort of full where you need to go to bed? Two grown men have sat here, attempted to eat both of these, and we have all of this left over. I cannot eat another bite, but let me tell you, even though I say I might not be able to eat another bite, this food was out of this world. This is why I travel. This is why I love coming to other destinations. Different cuisine is so fresh depending on where you go. This was, this was a special, experience i love this food and honestly if you do come to barbados come to pat's the women that work there were so unbelievably friendly they invited us behind the stove just told us all about it and if there weren't covered regulations she said we could have come into the kitchen that was a special special meal it was cooked with love and it's every single thing that i love about this island honestly if you like that video please hit the like button click the subscribe button it means the absolute world to me who knows where i'll be next but I promise you these signature dishes are going to keep coming. They come out every Saturday. And honestly, click the reminder button so you see everything that I post. Peace out, people.